So today I thought I'd do a video on my current skincare routine as I've kind of developed something that I quite like recently as my skin has been quite bad so I thought I would just sort of show you and talk about how I use these bits of skincare and just give you a little bit of a review of what I like to do every day. So the first thing that I do is take my makeup off with the L'Oreal Paris Skin Perfection 3-in-1 Purifying Micellar Solution. All I do is pop a little bit of this on a cotton wool pad and then I literally just take my eye makeup off with it. Now I think this is a really really good product and it also is meant to tone and smooth skin at the same time. Now I bought this and it was on offer so it was about three, two pounds so not a bad price at all compared to Bioderma and I think this does the trick perfectly. It takes my makeup off really quickly and it just creates a base for the rest of my skincare. Now the next thing that I use is the Ren Clear Calm 3 Clarifying Clay Cleanser and this is a little bit more pricey, it's £18 but this is aimed at blemish prone skin and recently my skin hasn't been too great around my chin and cheek area. All I do is pump a little bit of this on my hands with sort of slightly damp hands and then I literally just massage this into my face all over for about one to two minutes which is what you're supposed to do and then what I like to do is just wet a muslin cloth and then I use that to take off the cleanser and then I then like to rinse it all off after I've used the muslin cloth. I do think this has really been working to kind of calm down my red spots and also to kind of prevent them from getting too bad and too cystic so I would recommend this. The next product I use is the La Roche-Posay F.A. Cloud Duo which is a favourite of mine and I've been using it for quite a long time now. I use this just mainly around the spots area which would be my chin and my cheeks and then I just tend to kind of move it around a bit more but I don't tend to put it all over my face because I don't like to dry it out too much but I do think this has helped to again calm my spots and prevent them from getting too bad and I do think it helps to slowly get rid of them. The next product that I've been using as part of my routine is quite a new kind of product for me and it is indeed Labs Hydroluron. Now I'd heard quite a lot about this and it was way too expensive for me. I think it's at £24 but it was £8 off in Boots the other day so I bought it for about £16 which I think is actually quite reasonable for a product that is meant to be pretty damn good. Now this is kind of a moisture boost for your skin and it's sort of a serum slash gel like consistency and I use this to kind of put it all over my face as a kind of thing before a moisturiser but I am not actually using a moisturiser at the moment um, because I haven't found one that I like so I literally just pop it this in my hand put it all over my face and then I'm good to go um, people moan about the smell I don't think it smells particularly so yeah in overall I just really quite like this product and I think it has been helping because I started to get quite bad dry patches around my face and I think this has really helped to kind of calm those down and get rid of the dry patches and help the moisture on my face now the next product is quite a new product for my routine and it is the Pie Rosehip Bio Regenerate Fruit and Seed Oil Blend. And this is just an oil that you kind of put three pumps into your hand and then I've just been massaging it all over my face along with everything else. And I have been quite like using this. I've only been using it for a few days now so I haven't got much to say about it just yet. But I don't particularly like the smell. I think it smells a bit like tea and I don't quite like the smell of putting it on your face but... I think it's going to do quite good. It's meant to be really good for kind of clearing your complexion. It's just really meant to visibly improve kind of the appearance of scars, stretch marks, sun damage and fine lines. But I'm using it mainly on my chin area because I've got a lot of sort of scar spots down there that are quite red. And I'm trying to use this to kind of get rid of those red scars. And I think after a while it is actually going to do quite a good job. Now that routine is something that I've been doing every night time. I don't always use all the products every morning because I don't like to put too much on my face. Um, but I have got a couple of other bits that I like to kind of rotate into my skincare now and again but I don't use them every day because I don't need to and it is the Super Facialist by Una Brennan Rose Hydrate Miracle Makeover Facial Oil and I like to use this to give my skin a massive moisture boost because it is really good at giving your skin such good moisture before using a cleanser so it's a pre-cleansing oil and I also use the Super Facialist by Una Brennan Tea Flower Deep Clean Purifying Clay Mask which is meant to clear out all your pores and just generally kind of pull out everything that's a bit gross down there and I really really love this I think it's a lot better than the Origins clay mask which I don't find to do that much to your face but I really feel like this pulls everything out and I use this around my nose and my chin area and I really think it works 
and it smells pretty good too so I would definitely recommend that if you're thinking about getting a deep cleaning pore mask and yeah I like that a lot. I hope you liked my skincare video for today and please like and subscribe if you did that'd be amazing and please leave um, video suggestions in the comment box below anything you'd quite like and then yeah I'll see you again next week. Bye!